Hi Pisces, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another You versus Them. Pisces, let's see how you're feeling now, how the person connected to your energy is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And Pisces, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind, take what works for you and leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Pisces spirit. Alright newcomers I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person and in the center I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies. If this is your reading Pisces you'll know which side you resonate best with. For me this is going to be person A and this is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck page of wands. Somebody is going to be uh, well, reaching out, I feel, maybe a text message or maybe a message or something. Um, I do sense out of the two of you, one person feels that this was my soulmate, this is my perfect partner, uh, but maybe you guys have had some kind of a tower moment at the moment. Uh, somebody is really waiting at crossroads, wondering whether the other person will take action. They want it, they want it. They are a little scared, they are a bit, they are kind of waiting to see if the other person will take any action. The other person, I think they are feeling quite devastated at this time. They could be feeling that, uh, they are feeling a little disappointed uh, as well. I don't know why. They do want to come and express some heartfelt emotions. I think they want to work on this connection. This person wants to talk. I don't know what they want to say. Let's see. Let's clarify these cards. But first, let's start by asking the universe. Spirit, what's going on in this connection? What's going on in this connection? Why is uh, Pisces and their person feeling this way? Okay, so the first card here says decision. A decision is being made about this connection now. Maybe that's what they want to talk about. Second card here says fear. There is a bit of fear that the other person may not agree or they're not on the same page. Uh, someone is letting fear affect this connection. Reunion, re re uh, reconciliation may happen, right? Even though there is fear, I think a decision is being made maybe to reach out and see if a reunion is possible. I think this person is scared that the other person has maybe moved on to somebody else or they have somebody else new in their life, but they want to talk, they want to message and see, even though they are, there is fear here. Okay, so let's see if you guys could right now say anything to each other now, Pisces, what that would be, and then we'll clarify all these. So Pisces and that person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Pisces and their person spirit. Pisces and their person, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Pisces and their person, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be, spirit? Okay, and just a few more from a third deck as well, and then we'll start the reading, Pisces. Pisces and their person spirit. If they could say something to each other now, what would that be? All right, good to go. Let's start the reading. And uh, Pisces, if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is omkarataro at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. So the first card here says, I pray for us to be reunited. And that's the reunion. I, somebody is praying that, you know, reunion is possible. I breathe your love. I try to find you in everyone. Memories of you heal me. I was scared as I never felt these emotions earlier. I have so much to tell you. I'm afraid of what I might see. So I think they're scared because they feel, what if I approach them now and they've already moved on to somebody else? I don't feel threatened by the karmics anymore. They were just playing their role. I'm stalling because of fear. 
I know I have narcissistic tendencies, but I'm not one. I develop these traits to protect myself. I see you in my dreams, wishing it was a reality. I thought the grass was going to be greener on the other side, but it wasn't. I'm really going through it. I want to look better first. I never loved them. It was just about passion. I love you. All right. So these were some of your messages. Spices, if these were resonating with your storyline, let's start this reading. But first, as always, an angel blessing card. And this one is going to be Pisces for the viewer. Now you could be watching. Maybe your cross watcher is here, you know, looking for your energy today. So a blessing, guidance, advice or a message for the viewer. So Pisces, this is a soulmate connection. You guys were drawn, are drawn towards each other because you guys have to trigger each other to learn some lessons. Some very, very important lessons had to be learned. So this was a learning experience. That's why you guys were brought together. So let's see what's going to happen now. If the lessons have been learned, Spirit, what's going on in this connection. Let's start with person A's energy and newcomers. Remember, these are not gender-based and I'm not guessing which side you're on. I could be dealing with two Pisces on either side, right? So if this is your reading and you've been resonating till now, you rem you'll immediately pick up which side you're on, who this person is for you. And yes, it can be a love interest, spouse, ex, secret crush, a business partner, relative, maybe your best friend or something as well. So use your own judgment as to which side you're on and who your person is. I'm going to be focusing on you person A first. Once I'm done with you, later we'll move to the other side. So person A, let's start with you. What's the tower? What's the tower? I think person A, I think there's been a tower in this connection, but person A has realized that person B is their soulmate. This is the person I love. This is the person I want to be with. They are my happiness. This is my twin flame soulmate. Even though I think something could have been disrupted already in this connection. I think person A is still feeling that, you know, uh, they're still wishing for this connection. They know that the other person is their wish come true. This is my soulmate and they want a ten of cups. This person really wants a ten of cups with the other person. Why do you feel this way, person A? Eh? Ace of Wands. What's the Ace of Wands? I think they're hoping that there can be a reunion. There can be a passionate brand new beginning. They, you know, uh, they... You guys can end the conflict. Whatever ending happened can be rectified so that peace can be restored back in this connection. I think there is some regret and sadness and sorrow about some things of the past that have been done and said. Uh, person A is waiting. I think they're at crossroads. They're still hoping that their wishes and dreams will come true. Maybe they are also a bit stressed and anxious. What if the other person finds somebody new? What if they move on to new love? But... Um, I think person A wants to start a brand new chapter with the other person. They are really missing that person. And they are still, you know, kind of holding on to that hope that things can come around. So, tell me, how do you see the connection now, person A? How do you see person B? How do you feel about this connection? Uh, moon. Person A says, I'm in the dark. I, do, I really don't know. I'm waiting to see what happens as well, Omkara Taro. I just hope that they make a decision. Uh, I am manifesting it. I am manifesting that they step up and, you know, take control and do right by me. Put in the effort, put in the work into this connection. I've been waiting for a long time because I do love them. I do love them. I see them as my perfect match. King of Cups to the Queen of Cups. Okay, so what action person A will finally take, I will open later. Let's go to the other side and see how person B is feeling and then we'll do the action cards together. So person B, wheel of fortune for you in your feelings, in your emotions. One more. They are also very drawn to person A and they feel the because they maybe didn't make a choice in the past, they 
kind of lost maybe this this is the person who was playing some mind games and now they feel why did i play those mind games i wish things can turn for the better they feel that uh, yes they they are also feeling really bad about the ending which has happened in this connection they are also very very disappointed feeling devastated devastated because somewhere they feel that if things have ended between us then my person they may give, go and offer their cup of love to somebody else or have a brand new beginning elsewhere i think whoever this person is person b they want to rush back to person a they want to rush back to person a they're very disappointed they they want to rush back and tell their person hey can we revive this connection i do see you as my long term partner long term spouse uh, then uh, seven of pentacles Seven of Pentacles. What's the disappointment? What's the disappointment? This person has been thinking long and hard about. I think they're disappointed in themselves. They're disappointed about their own past behavior, their lying, cheating ways, or their <laughs> runner ways, or something. But now, because I think the ending, some ending has happened, they really don't like this feeling at all. They want to come out of feeling, uh, you know, left out or feeling lonely or sad, and they are really hoping that things can once again move in a positive direction again and uh, be balanced. They want to. bring back balance and justice into this connection because they adore person a they see person a as the their perfect partner their perfect partner they are just a little fearful i think the only fear they have is what if what what will i see if i go towards them will i see that they've already given their heart to another what will i see that they have other options now will i be an option in their life now but nonetheless i think this person is going to overcome that fear because they are heavily thinking about communicating they they want to communicate and this time round they want to actually talk about long term potential maybe a proposal maybe something that you know gets both of you together for the long haul yes this person is wanting to take action they do want to take action but right now they could be kind of little fearful so they are watching from the sidelines the little overwhelmed to speak their heart maybe they want to take a baby step and you know not immediately take a risk where they may get disappointed but they do want to jump off that cliff and say hey you know what let's just work things out let's work things out i think they are they are trying to gather up their courage because they feel if i don't i'm going to lose my person for good i'm going to i mean they're going to emotionally detach and walk away from me So how do you see the connection currently then person B how do you see person A and how do you feel about this connection uh person B says i do want to work on this connection now um kara taro except i don't know how how do i tell them that all along all along that i've been so defensive and pulling back i've always known that the you are my two of cups how do i tell them that you know you are the one i want they have the clarity in their own mind and they do want to talk this person wants to try again uh, six of swords yes this person absolutely wants to talk they want to clear the air they want to offer a partnership they are just hoping that when they do have that conversation they find out that their person is still single and available and willing that's the only thing that's be keeping this person stuck maybe the other person is not talking to them right now or something i don't know but they are going to go with their intuition i think this time and they are going to be coming forward it's like a do or die situation either it will end or it can transform but i want to fight for this connection right uh, the fear is there the fear is the only thing that's blocking this person right now okay so let's see what actions you guys will take then I'm going to take another deck for this one pisces and while i shuffle this deck now my request my reminder time if you could just tap the thumbs up button to let me know how this reading is doing for you leave a comment that will be very helpful too and uh, newcomers repeating viewers do like share subscribe to the channel we welcome you in person a action from your end towards person b or otherwise nine of cups Okay, tell me what's the nine of cups? Person A says, "I'll be very happy if they start communicating, or they they are the ones who initiate communication. At least that's how I feel." 
Tell me about the nine of cups person A. Or are you just busy making your own dreams and wishes come true? What is the nine of cups? King of cups. No, they want the other person to reveal what they've been hiding. They, they want the other person to show them, prove to them, put in the work. Uh, because I think person A has been sitting here with a broken heart. They, they, they too want to heal things. They do want to bring justice to the situation. And uh, especially after this ending that's happened, I think person A also wants to talk. But they want the other person to reach out and put in the work or express themselves. Um, they are a bit scared that that might not happen. But I think secretly person A has been waiting. Okay, so person B, what about you? action action time for you <laughs> towards person a or otherwise in your own life okay yes knight of swords this person is going to out of the blue come rushing in they want to rush back to their person tell me what you want to say knight of swords what do you want to say knight of swords Uh, seven of Wands, Knight of Cups, and the Five of Swords. Okay, okay. Yes, this person definitely wants a reunion. Same, it's the same, exact same message again. I can't believe it. So this person is uh, wanting to come back and tell that person that I see your Ten of Cups with you. You are my long-term partner. I want to have a reunion with you. But... The only thing that is stopping this person is fear right now. Why? Because they feel if I go towards them and I find out that they have somebody else that they love instead of me. Fear is stopping them. That's it. Okay, tell me about the page of uh, wands then. Will they at least send a message? Yes, Spirit says they may try sending a message first. Maybe a very small message before they take action. They want to take action, 100%, but it may start off small. Uh, tell me about the page of wands, spirit. Page of wands. Page of wands. Why is this the overall energy for Pisces reading today? Star. Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. Yeah, they're going to be messaging. This person is thinking long and hard, long and hard, as fearful as they are, maybe. But this person may, you know, just send a flirty kind of a message or a very casual sort of a message. Why? Because they, they want this wish to come true. They want this wish to come true. But the fear that maybe, what if I reach out and the other person has already walked away emotionally from me? So that's the reason they won't first just come forward and say everything. They will start slow and then if they get a better feedback, I guess, then they will go all in. So that's what I have for you. Till next time then, Pisces, love and light. Take care. Namaste.